Hi again then guys and welcome to of course another speed tune setup for Special Stage Route X in GT Sport in particular and as you can see from the title I've put 264 miles per hour but then here in the settings sheet I've put 261 slash 264 and there's a very specific reason for that when it comes to this car because a lot of cars can be made to be a little bit quicker on their own but at the expense of being able to draft so in other words you'll hit the red line much sooner making them less useful for actual online races where you come up against cars that are 20 or 30 miles per hour quicker so you've got a couple of options when it comes to this tune you can either have it do 264 on its own, but not have all that much draft potential, or you can do what I've done and do 261, but you can go much higher when you're in someone's slipstream, up even around 300, if I recall correctly. Now, as far as the tuning goes, of course you want to increase the power as high as it can go, that's pretty obvious. I would also recommend dropping the weight as low as it can go. Traction control really isn't necessary, it's all wheel drive anyway. As far as the tires, we've got super softs on the front and the back. For the suspension, I would recommend 100mm on the ride height. Then for the frequency, we've got that as high as possible. No surprises here as far as handling goes, especially if you've used my tunes before. Anti-roll, uh, compression, and rebound are all as low as they can go as well, and this is all for stability through the corners. We've got neutral camber and neutral toe. You do have a little bit of downforce, but you can't adjust that anyway. As far as the diff, I've gone for the lowest initial torque, and then as you can see, the highest all round for both the acceleration and braking side of things. And of course, finally for the gearbox, you want the fully customized transmission, an auto setting of 280 miles per hour. Then I would recommend individual gears of three, 1.9, 1 1.4, 1 1.1, 0.9, 0.765, 0 0.66, and a final drive of 3.5. And that in particular is where you can really control how much draft potential you have. Because if you want this car to do 264 instead of 261, then raise that final drive to, I think it was either 3.6 or 3.7. But, as I said, you will sacrifice a lot of draft potential. So you'll hit the red line much sooner, and you'll probably only get it up around, what, 280, 285 maybe with slipstream. Whereas with what I've done, you can go much higher, and you only lose a couple of miles per hour. So it can do 264, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. So that's it as far as the tuning. You've got a few options there, as you have with any car, really. But what you want to see, obviously, is what it can do in action. Now, I don't tend to typically focus on cars like this, which are slower than many other vehicles with a similar amount of power. In fact, this one isn't that much quicker than the Huracan, which has a similar level of power, is arguably more nimble, it's certainly more compact. But the reason why I chose to do this one anyway is because the Aventador is always a very, very popular car with fans. People just really like the Aventador. So for those people who do want to use it, this allows you to do so. And as you can see, you're in seventh gear, but you're not even halfway toward the red line. You've got a ton of slipstream potential. As I said, you're looking at 261 under its own power with this particular version, or you can raise it to 264. But to be honest, I wouldn't really recommend that. It's fast on its own, so of course if you're up against other Aventadors and slipstream is turned off, something very specific like that, then of course you could do it. But under most circumstances, don't bother. It's just not necessary. The handling on this one is very good. It's very stable, tons of grip, also very beginner friendly. So if you do decide to use the car, it definitely does have potential, but you're guaranteed that you're gonna need someone's slipstream to keep up with the rest of the pack. So overall, that's it for this tune. Of course, click here on screen to see literally all of my other GT Sport tunes that I've done. And for now, as always, thanks for watching.